but I am now back in my flat. I haven't been at my flat for the last few days, which is why my videos have been uh, few and far between because I left my camera here so I didn't have my camera to film so I had to resort to uploading a video that was taken like a year ago but I'm really excited about that video being up it was a cover of a song called I Gotta Run um, which I performed at a concert back in August 2014 and I've only just been given permission to put it up so I'm very excited about the fact that it's up the reason I haven't been at my flat is because I've had new carpets put in and new flooring in the kitchen put in but now that I'm back at my flat I have decided to do what I'm going to call a mini flat tour. I say mini flat tour because there's nothing in my flat right now. There's a bed, there's no sofas, there's none of my own, you know, personal effects. They're all in boxes in my bedroom, but there's nowhere to put them yet, so I haven't unpacked anything yet. But, I do want to show you my flat, so you kind of get a before and after kind of thing. Let us begin. So this is what you see when you, you come in. I'm going to go into the bathroom first, because that's the most boring uh, part of the house. Um, it's got no floor, currently. That is not we. That is water from the bath. I swear to God, I do not pee around the toilet. But it's got no floor at the moment, because as you can see, there is some kind of leak behind that toilet so I need to get that fixed before I can put a floor down. But this is my bathroom, it's been painted a very, a very subtle purple called dusted fondant. This is my bedroom, uh, it is it's quite a dark colour, this is mulberry. But this is my chalkboard wall. Um, I've yet to chalk on it because I don't want to chalk on it until I've got like some kind of rug underneath the bottom there because obviously when you rub chalk off the board it's going to create dust and stuff and I don't want it to go on my new carpet so I need a rug. But I can't wait to use it, it's so exciting and thank you Tim for buying me that paint. Then if we move into here, this is my living room. Hello living room. Um, this is the biggest room of the flat. The living room is painted the same colour as the hallway, but the hallway looks darker. Um, but this is my gorgeous little fireplace, it's just a little electric fireplace. I did a video in front of this and everyone said that that behind me looked like cat ears, so I might do more videos in front of that. But up here I've got all of my congratulations on your new house cards. Um, that one was from Gary and that was from Pete. And I've got my little picture of me and Pete that Gary actually gave me for my birthday last year. It is a picture of me and Pete in the Gryffindor common room at the Harry Potter Warner Brothers studio tour. These are my windows, my gorgeous castle windows, and that is my little writing ledge. I figured out that if I sit on the floor there, the ledge comes up to a perfect height where I can just sit and write on my laptop. That there is a box of hopeful letters. Um, this is one of about four boxes. Three boxes in a drawer. The drawer is at the theatre under my desk. By the way, do you like my socks? It's Tilly Monster! Oh, I'm a child. Um, there's going to be a sofa there, and a sofa there, and uh, hopefully my TV's going to go off my wall there, but I'm sort of deciding whether I want a TV or not, because I don't watch TV enough. A bookshelf is going to go along that wall there. Um, I think bookshelves are going to go kind of up here and I'm going to have a desk, like a proper actual desk there instead of just settling for that, I'm going to have a proper desk and a chair there. But now I'm going to venture into the kitchen, look at the floor, isn't it pretty, oh my god it's so great, I love it so much, it makes me feel like I'm in Alice in Wonderland. The thing I'm struggling with right now is that I don't have a fridge freezer. I don't have a tumble dryer and I don't have a washing machine so getting washing and laundry done is impossible right now so I'm having issues like this where milk literally turns to cheese that is just that's just cheese in there that's bleh. so this is my mug cupboard this isn't even a tiny percentage of the mugs that I own and this is my tea and coffee cupboard oh isn't it pretty it's so gorgeous this is the cupboard i've used the most so far <laughs> i was given this tea towel by pete it says where there's tea there's hope and i also have this tea towel which is just covered in little maleficent heads uh, this is my cutlery drawer these ones were given to me uh, at stage door one says comfort food and uh one says serial killer and the other one says this is my favorite one it says if you can see that it says uh, Moriarty. And then I was given this spoon for Christmas by Giovanna, my sister-in-law, and it says everything will be okay, and she gave that to me along with a jar of Nutella. One of my favorite things about this flat is this window. I have this really random window 
just in the middle of my flat that just leads into my living room. But it kind of adds to the castle vibe of this place. I have just started calling my flat Carrie's Castle because Hope House is also the name of many, many other things on the planet. Whereas I think Carrie's Castle is probably less taken. So this is my flat. Um, I can't wait to show it to you when it's got more in it, actually more stuff to show you. But for now, I thought it'd be fun to show you the before and then later on I will show you the after. Oh you enjoyed this tour. Also, I forgot to say, this is absolutely crazy. Um, this is You Magazine. It comes with uh, the Mail on Sunday. And um, I have a three page spread uh, about uh, me and my book. Judith Woods is the woman who interviewed me. And she says some of the nicest things that I think anyone has ever said about me. Like I genuinely cried last night when I read some of it because I was just so overwhelmed with um, how highly she spoke of me. It's crazy. And they used this picture of me and my brother as well that we've never seen before, which is really cool. There's also um, a picture of me and Pete because I talked about the fact that me and Pete together in the interview. Pete is super cute with a strong nose that he hates, but I love. That is true. He doesn't like his nose and I think it's awesome. So yeah, I'm really chuffed about that interview. Um, if you want to pick up a copy, I think it's like £1.60 for the whole Daily Mail and all of the um, the magazines and stuff that come with it, but it is online for you to read as well, so I shall put the link below this video if you just want to read it online. But yeah, I'm really chuffed about it. It's really cool. And I can't wait for my book to come out next week. Crazy! Absolutely crazy! I was in my